Oh, you can hear the word saying power on and I oh, love that. That is really cool. That triangle actually actually matching with the shape of the pattern here with the uh, the actual logo. That's just beautiful. So what we have here is a gaming headset uh, that is sent from a company called EXA or EKSA and the model number is E910 and I'm sure a few YouTubers have already reviewed this so most of the things will be the same as what they actually covered but some of the bits I might actually say uh, the things that they haven't actually covered but before we get into this I would like to make a huge shout out to Royal Mail for sending the package in a, such a perfect condition should we say i mean there's pushed in mark here and there and dent mark on the corner and on the side as well um it's just beautiful isn't it um it really puts me off on this whole thing but anyhow i'm sure it's fine on the inside but if you look at the back side of the package there's the super mario cloud i do recognize that outline with a excel uh, flag and logo on it and on the bottom of it there's the um Pac-Man stage with the EXA logo on the central as well. On the side, there's both uh, EXA logo, but the gaming headset looks really nice, the logo, I like that. And on the bottom, the main EXA as well. But if you actually shake it, it sounds like something's broken, but uh, we better find out. So let's get into the unboxing. So here it goes. Okay, so let's open it up. Ah, so that's what it was making noise. I think what this is, is a yeah that's really nice that's for the stand for your headphones that's beautiful isn't it you know what it's very difficult to find one of these on even on amazon so i really appreciate that excess sent me one of these um so i will cherish it thank you very much so that was a simple assembly there but yes so this is the main package within the large package so um, on the back side you can see that is XIE 910 um, and all the specs so please do check it out all the um, diagram of what is included also the pouch as well that's really good um, so that's how it looks that looks really nice very high tech huh and uh, that's the overall thing within the main box there's the main box okay so when you open it up a really tough sort of leather pouch that you can actually feel the headphone is actually inside but before we get into that there is this other side of the package which is the uh, usb dongle isn't it yeah the 5.8 gigahertz USB dongle um, and also some of the cables that we're gonna find out later on but let's actually see what's inside so this is a really nice sort of quality leather synthetic leather I would say but within it we got the nice look at that that is really nice um, thick pad as well on the uh, side we've got the volume up and down i think that's a mute button isn't it and the power button and also we got the <laughs> oh, that's cool so you could actually use this as a regular um headphone but actually over the year but if you want to talk you just pull this out how cool is that let's do that again so if we were to zoom in on both ends you know that's the receiver and i presume that's like a wind prevention who knows i mean i'm just trying to pretend it to be uh, intelligent i do like that actually i like that feature it's more like um like a vintage uh punk kind of effect i would say and that's pretty much it well actually um that's the uh bit where you actually USB C, isn't it that you can charge your uh headphone as well and um yes Lastly, we got the EXA logo on the top. Actually, on the left-hand side, it says L 
with the red sort of end and the R on the right hand side as well, okay? So you can connect this um, by using the USB dongle. That seems to be the one of the most important thing to be able to use this, so please don't lose this. By the way, I can see that there's this um, earphone jack on it. But anyhow, uh, so you can connect to your PC, um, your laptop, your MacBook Pro, or whatever you want to call it, um, your PlayStation device as well and also the Xbox and there seems to be a simple extra uh, instruction that you need to follow as well in Nintendo Switch and etc. Okay, so make sure you have this with you um, and don't lose it. I think that's, that's one of the most crucial thing. But anyhow, if you look at the back of the package, it says that uh, the uh, battery capacity is 12,000 uh, milliamp and also it could, uh, the charging time up to four hours and working time up to 10 hours as well at 70% volume, okay? All right, so moment of truth, I got the USB dongle ready to be plugged in. Okay, you can see that it's setting up the device and you don't really need to do anything because it automatically installs by itself. So um, the moment of truth, let's actually turn on the headphone itself. So let's press the button. Oh, you can hear the word saying power on and I oh, love that. That is really cool. That triangle actually actually matching with the shape of the pattern here with the, uh, the actual logo. That's just beautiful. So let's actually try out the sound, shall we? Okay, yeah. So, um, comfortable. But for me, because I got a wide head, I think I have to put the head parts a bit front for some reason, I don't know what it is, but let's actually listen to the free copyright music called Never Getting Old, shall we? So here it goes. Not bad. Okay. So if you press the power button, um, it actually says surrounding sound off or on. And the sound actually does change. It seems to be more focused without the surrounding sound or widen out with the uh, surrounding sound. So let's play the surrounding sound. It's kind of smooth. It's not bad actually. Now let's actually check against the, because I got the sound memory of it, let's check against the um, Sony XM4, shall we? Similar so far. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> right. So um, the Sony XM4 obviously is one of the best, um, is one of the best sounding headphones that you could ever get, I think. Uh, the Exa um, E910, when you actually put it onto the maximum volume, the beat seems to be breaking off a bit, like it's actually um, cracking a bit and uh, the sound of the sharpness is actually smooth but I think I wish there was a bit more strength to it but overall you don't actually feel like this is cheap actually and maybe this is how um, gaming headset is designed to be anyway so maybe I'm not doing a fair comparison here and also this has a surrounding sound capability um, and uh, turned off and on while as this one actually has different sounding system as well so let's actually try out with the actual gaming situation shall we okay so we're gonna play the um, starcraft 2 zero hour okay so here it goes so i'm sure you could hear my sound i'm not going to use the microphone for my um camera but truly based this better on be the, good um that's it microphone so big job huh Not enough minerals. 
Not enough minerals. By the numbers, boys. Okay, and I can see some other units as well on the other side. So Roger the SCB ready. There. And also the other as well. So just to just for the test purpose, I'm not gonna play well then again I'm not really good at stuff. Not enough minerals. Armed and ready. So I gathered all the units. You gonna up. give me orders? Yeah, I'm gonna SCB do ready. attack all the way through. By the numbers, boys. So Okay. So they're going. Let's see how well they will perform. SCB ready! Go, go, go! Go, go, go. Not enough minerals. You know when this... It actually sounds really good when the... ...the container is not enough materials. Minerals. <laughs> okay. Uh, they're doing well. I think we should kill all of them. SCB sure. ready! So let's actually just put some of the marines in. Not enough minerals. We could use some help here! Why? Are they ready? SCB ready! Kill them all! But I'm not really good at star types too. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually placing the mic right against uh, my mouth and then I can see the gauge is going right up. Just for the test purpose, but because of how wide my head shape is, maybe this needs to be longer right against my mouth. So Probably I'm not an expert on this whole thing and to be, to be honest with you, it's the first time I actually reviewed or used any of these um, gaming headsets with a microphone on. But what I did notice on my screen recording by using Bandicam software is that uh, the microphone itself seems to be quite weak when I actually play uh, StarCraft 2, especially when the Marines are shooting guns constantly. They were like, doo -doo 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 -doo. so maybe that loud sound because it was on the maximum volume was distracting the way how I speak. It wasn't really well uh, sending across. But then again, I wasn't really playing with someone else and listening to uh, as a person who's playing with you point of view. So. Uh, maybe the sound will be clear or not, but this is purely based on the screen recording test um, Which I hope is the the reality of it um, I hope not actually because uh, the microphone was a bit weak again I have actually recorded with the microphone right against my mouth and I noticed that sound was cracking a bit um, I hope that's not the case when you actually are playing with me and listen to me, but overall the sound itself is fine uh, microphone is weak but when you try it on the headphone itself it's not bad you don't feel like you're using cheap ones um, but I have to question about the quality of the microphone itself maybe uh, the team uh, EKSA to could actually clarify with that situation to me um, or EXA uh, e for regards to E910 so I hope this video clarify what this product is about but if you have any queries please do comment below and thank you very much for watching this video this is LJP Tech all the best bye bye